Come on, man. Show, show me your, show me your worth. Let's do some different stuff this time. As in, like, not the OP new weapons that we have. That, that critical strike prompt has always been shit. It always has. But I feel like the level of this stuff is, is higher in general. Like, it wasn't this difficult to kill these guys. And I wasn't taking this much damage either. Yeah, these enemies are, these enemies are serious, man. Anyway, let's have a look at the skills here, see if there's anything that could help. That's definitely needed at this stage. Um, I think weapons-wise, let's start trying to use some more of this stuff again. This probably wasn't a good time to experiment with this. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked. Okay. I'm going to get more resources for this anyway. Um... Soon, once I'm done with this quest. There you go. Oh boy. What, there's two of them? Are you, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm gonna die now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to die now. I don't think I can handle two of those guys at the same time. With the current resources that I have. Look at these guys, man. God damn. So, <laughs> in this madness, let me just calm down for a second. I need to get the rope caster back, I think. That helped me last time. Because I need to, I need to slow them down. Even if a little. But it's like you, you rope one of them down and the other one gets up. No, it's that. Come on, I'm hitting the middle. There you go. Yeah, I mean... I don't know why this middle bit hasn't blown up yet. I've hit it so many times. There you go, I think I did it this time. He 
can see that critical hit window again, it was like non-existent. I hate that move. Still hanging in there for now. Okay, that one's dead. Not sure how much more I can do here. Wow, that was a lunge. I keep pressing start. Uh, okay. Let's see. What do we have now? Yeah, I didn't know if it was going to create some kind of favorable effect on him, but it's not. Sticky bombs are doing a good job. Oh, there we go. Woo. I thought I was a goner. Bloody demonic lunatics, man. Never know when I might need these. Okay. Again, quick look around just to restore some stuff if I can. I'll pick up some extra resources. I've got plenty of shards, and I think I can sell plenty of resources too, so I should be okay. Now that was a fight. Your trial's over. It was other Banuk who killed that man. Killed him because he was Karja. You know why I took the first swing at him? He challenged the honor of the Banuk. The honor. That's what I thought. Come on. Let's get you back. Once I'm off the mountain, I'll find my own way. I need to think. It's not something I'm used to. Who knows what could happen. I'll see you at town then. You'd better make it, all right? I give my pledge. So by Banuk law, if Inatut survives, he's forgiven. But I want to prove to his chieftain that he wasn't guilty in the first place. Okay. Every little helps. But you can see my health has been depleted a lot more rapidly in recent battles, which is pretty cool. And it's a, it's a setup for, I guess, the final kind of quest that we have. I mean, this was level 35, and it really kept me on my toes. It's level 50, so <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. So I think I'm just going to fast travel from here. I should be done. Um, that's a trek. So, yeah. Let's go. And then hopefully I might be able to buy something from those special merchants for the first time, including the map that shows me where the Gleam is. Okay. 
Let's round this one off. Um, just these guys, right? Got some blue gleam. Might as well trade it. In it had told you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. You'll find more in a ravine north and west of here, along with the bodies of the killers. The exile still served its purpose. He was guilty of our suspicion. What? Fate has fallen like snow, and should Inatut return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Werek, my Nora friend. You look ridiculous. If you would return to my Werek, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their carge of victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you. Yeah, screw you. Where is he? Defied my chieftain's will, spurn my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I've been pounded the guts. <laughs> I could just keep walking, but when my anger has thawed, it will leave me with nothing. Where else would I go? You don't owe the Warwick anything. Go to where you feel you belong. Maybe you're in a good position. Um, I feel like go to where you belong seems like the nicest thing for this guy because he's kind of given everything for his Warwick and they didn't they were very quick to have him take the fall when needed and so maybe he can find somewhere where he's more appreciated so you can decide for yourself what it means to be a Banuk it might not be what the chieftain and the shaman tell you whether you stay with this Warak or find another. I'm better with decisions like, do I start with the left or the right? There's more to you than your fists, Inatut. That's why I believed you. It was my chieftain who taught me honesty. Said, a Banuk should not be treacherous when the ice is treacherous enough. I'll sit with my bruises for a time, then talk with her again. As for you, Nora girl, Will you accept this gift? A, a little scrawny weight against the great boon you gave me, but... I'm honored. Thank you, Inatut. He's a good guy, this Inatut. So I have 21 blue gleam now. That's what I'm talking about. Extraordinary reward box and three more gleaming gleams. So... Yeah, I know, I know. We're there, we're there. We're gonna do it. Just give me a sec. That's pretty extraordinary. That's cool. Okay. So I think I want to throw in a manual save before I continue here. Um... Let's go over this one. Like I say, I'm 99% sure I've got these saves backed up somewhere else, plus some different ones too, so I'll be okay. Now then, level 38 reached. That's good. Let me go to this special merchant and see what I can do. Right then. 12 blue gleam, 14... 
striker bow. Yeah, this one has like different types of arrow, I guess, like corruption arrows and all that kind of stuff. This one is more powerful. And this one is a really good all-rounder. If I get a good damage multiplier to it, it could help. I mean, look at the maximum available damage there. You must be able to get some insane modifiers if even a hundred is like a quarter slash the fifth of the way there. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, I'd love to get both of these, but I think... I kind of like this one. I mean, even like the heavier arrow is still 70 damage, and the other one's 89 with the modifier, so it's not that different. So I'm going to go with this one, actually. Okay. So I'm going to change that one. Um, what else? Ice Master. Ooh, it costs 50. Really? Okay. okay. First of all, I want to modify our weapons. This one here. So this gives me plus 11% damage too. So we'll go with that. For starters. I mean, this is a big handling boost as well. So we'll go with this. And I feel like I do need some better fire for this too. So for now, I mean that's not perfect, but it'll do. So for this one I need Sparker and Echo Shell. So Sparker's the one I need 25 of, that's very expensive. Chill Water, Metal Vessel, Sparker. So Sparker's the one I probably need the most of, I remember like selling some, I think. Sound to sleep to, not live to. So first of all let me sell some stuff I think. Mm. Okay, so I need Sparkers. I think I have enough shards, I'm really going to go big on this. Because I need 25 at a time. Yeah, okay. I did say half, but I used a lot more than half. But I'll keep it like this for now, I think. Okay, so I'm back up to around 1,500. I think that's a pretty oh, decent... Oh, God, my father isn't port. around. It would torment so... him to see his legacy drowned. I'm not going to craft any of these for now. Okay. So blaze I don't have a huge amount of, but I think I'll manage. One day, the stone of the din was dry. The next, the flood came. So now on the map, uh, blue gleam. Wow. I'm literally just going to... I'm going to go to one to see. I mean, it's it's got multiple. There's three blue gleams there. I'm going to find that. I mean, what I might be losing in terms of levels, I need to make up for in resources and preparation, so... I'm hoping my level should be enough. It might be very challenging and I might die along the way for the trail. multiple times, but I'm hoping it won't be like totally impossible. But being like 12 levels below is a bit intimidating at the moment. But maybe our levels will go up fairly quickly as we make our way. Oh, wow. There they are. Crystal shark. Better watch my fingers. So yeah, I might do a bit of blue gleam farming at this stage. It's 
one more, right? Hmm, I thought there was three on the map. Yeah, there is. Oh. Okay, I'm up to eight. Where else? There's a big stash of them here. Just trying to see if there's any, like, nearby. So anywhere I can fast travel to where it's within, like, a minute or two, it's definitely worth getting. If I can head in there with, uh, with some of the best weapons available in the game, then I'm sure it's going to make a big difference. So I kind of anticipated that they were all in these weird little caves and stuff. I guess sometimes they are in out in the open. Then again, this one might be in a cave, actually. Hmm. I think there is a cave here or something. These are helpful. Bitter, though. Interesting. Oh, wait a minute. It is here. Blue's name. I'll be taking that. So I guess it was a little bit misleading, maybe. It was here. At least we got it. Okay, it's another bunch. It's good. Uh, another campfire here, and this is not too far away. Let's go. And I think with this already, we'll be able to get another weapon. I think, possibly. There it is. The good stuff. Snap this blue thing off carefully. Yeah, there's a lot of it here. Right. Oh, there's still one more. Wow. I mean, it seems like we've got to head down for it, but I sense a full death coming in trying to get this. I can't feel my, I can't feel much of anything in this. We're gonna repel down. I'm gonna trust the map here in, te in it telling me that it's lower down. Still shows down. Hmm. It's another one of these where maybe the map isn't super helpful. Oh, maybe it is. Excellent. Up to 16. So keep hopping along the map and see what we can buy this time. Yeah, I think I want this one now. Nice. Yeah, I don't have the greatest modifications right now, unfortunately. So that kind of messes up a little bit, but I can always get rid of these later. Okay. Keep it like that for now. 
I mean, at least it's a nice 128 damage now. It's definitely... It's about 40% more than the other one. And maybe we'll get some nicer modifiers too, to really make it work. Okay. Honestly, I think at the moment I'm ready to, to continue. But I think the final thing I'll do for this session is to try and get into this bandit camp over here. So that's what I'll do. There's nowhere that close to it, unfortunately. It's about as close as I can get, I think. This is a little bit dangerous, but I need to get across that bridge. That's, that's the route I need. Easy, easy. Yeah. There's not a ledge for me to drop down to here either, but I think I can get down. Yeah, we'll manage. Nice. Sam Porter Bridges would be proud. Is there, a, is there a way in there? I can't tell if that's like a... Yeah, I think this tunnel's completely blocked, but... Uh, that's the kind of thing we're going to be seeing a lot more of in Forbidden West, I think. More of these like motorways and like abandoned cars and that kind of shit. But I'd hope, I'd like to think so. I mean, you got the Golden Gate Bridge, so I think it's a given. Okay, Wheel of Life behind California Terror Attack, Beverly Hills, California. Well, talking about Forbidden West, California, 2044. In a statement released yesterday, the radical group Wheel of Life has claimed responsibility for last week's terror attack, which has generated fear and uncertainty around throughout Los Angeles County. Three suicide bombers detonated lethal explosives on the grounds of the, of the Juvenus Center, a luxury clinic dedicated to regeneration and life extension therapies. As well as killing five clinic staff, the attack claimed the life of tech billionaire Aubrey Hopkins, founder of a research project on salamander biology that led to the first successful human longevity treatments. Hopkins himself had been experimenting with the treatment since the early phases of the project. The expense associated with these treatments has thus made them available only to the world's most affluent. Their use by the rich has sparked widespread controversy, serving as fuel for aggressive responses like those carried out by Wheel of Life. Aging and death flow from the spring of renewal that makes us human. The extension of life and youth by false means degrades our essential nature and brings spiritual corruption. Those who perished last week spent their lives to fill the gap dividing rich and poor, read their statement in part. The group's role in the bombing was already suspected, as multiple witnesses recounted the shouting of... Data corrupted. Once again, it's another one of these interesting topics that, that comes up in this game. And obviously life extension. And I feel like that stuff's coming. Like in our lifetime, most people watching this, we're going to be seeing that kind of stuff become a reality, I think. Um, I mean, in a way, it already happens. If you're rich and you're affluent in this world, even in the West, you're able to afford to buy, you know, source foods that have less, let's say, I don't know, genetically enhanced stuff in it or, you know, less chemicals in it organic food, that kind of thing, you're more likely to have higher quality health care, um, you're more likely to be able to afford good treatment, that kind of stuff, so it already happens, I mean it's already here, it's not it's not really like some kind of weird futuristic idea that the rich are able to extend their lives more than the poor, it, it's already here but, I mean, in extended sorry, in uh, like more extreme ways I feel like that's going to that's gonna potentially be a thing, like in the next 50 years they're going to be learning like how to how to grow organs and replace them and replace people's hearts a lot more easily and honestly the brain unless you get like dementia or alzheimer's which is very high among like the the very old if they find a way to to stop the onset of that happening and they can preserve the brain it feels like everything else around the brain can kind of be modified and changed up and, and replaced over time once we get good enough at it and of course, it's going to take an incredible amount of investment, and a lot of that's going to come from the private sector. 
So, you know, if it's the private sector and the rich that's putting in the money to find the cure and the advancements in these areas, who do you think is going to be the most to benefit from them? So, for that to trickle down to the masses, I don't think that's going to happen in our lifetime. But I think the actual existence of it, I think we're definitely going to start to see it and it's going to be very interesting to see where that goes. So yeah, I said I was going to skip this bit, but that was an interesting topic. And it always is. It, we're always fascinated with like life extension and how to live longer, how to live forever, all that kind of stuff. And the, the reasons for being drawn to that are, of course, obvious. <laughs> 